제 8층 2회 세 개나 틀렸어. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and today is our 82nd program and today's main expression is 세 개나 틀렸어. I got three wrong. Aww. Well, anyways, I, I know you get nothing wrong on, on your test. You're perfect, Because right? I don't take any tests anymore. <laughs> I right. graduated, ladies and gentlemen. I recently graduated, so I'm very happy that hopefully in this lifetime I won't have to take any more tests, but we'll see. 안녕하세요. I'm Stephen Revere. Thank you all for being with us, and thank you two for being with us. You're welcome, Stephen. <laughs> 안녕하세요, Naomi입니다. Actually, I'm so happy because I passed my test of... Uh, my test. Oh, really? Good for you. And Martin, I know you, you're at Seoul Day. I know you had a test recently. How did you do? Yeah, it was very hard, you know. Uh, difficult test? Difficult oh. test. Uh -huh. And um, it's very, very hard to learn in this language, mm. totally different mm. from Western languages. How many languages? do you I don't usually get wrong if you have, say, 10 questions? 10 questions? Oh, perhaps I get one wrong. One. Yeah. But oh, I, you had a good point there. Korean is nothing like the languages we're used to, That's right? right. The European languages, English, Ger everything's so flipped over, different order, different... It's so frustrating studying together with Japanese and Chinese students. I mean, they don't have to study, they just understand they, the language. They have a so, bit of an advantage, yeah. don't they? That used to drive me crazy, yeah. too. All those yeah. Japanese... The teacher would write the hancha on the board and I would go, yeah, yeah. Huh? And the Japanese go, oh! <laughs> That's right. the point. And yeah. of course, the Asian students have a little bit uh, ahead of you in the culture wise as well. You know, they've got a little bit more understanding of the Korean culture versus Westerners. Anyways, let's get started. Let's go to Let's Do It. Let's do it! Okay, earlier Stephen was talking about hanja, which is Chinese characters, and yeah, you see a lot of this in Korea too. You know, you go around and you see like lots of signs and mm -hmm. apartments too. On the side of them, they have it all in the Chinese characters, and so yeah, if you've got to learn Chinese on top of Korean to live here. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the first expression we heard in Let's Do It was shim chal pa so, and this is funny because in Korea you're seeing, you're seeing, you're seeing a test. Well, as opposed. <laughs> As opposed to what? Taking a test? Right. I mean, in English, were you going to take it home with you? Where are you taking right. it? But that's what we say, right? We say to take a mm -hmm. test. And uh, in, in Korea, you say to look at a test Buddha. or to see a test, right? right? Buddha. And they're spelled exactly the same. It's Buddha, but one is to see and one is to take a test. Right? Shilmer, Buddha. And then the answer we had, Segena Tuyasa. Oh no, I got three wrong. Mm hmm. And notice, you would be perfectly fine in saying, Sege to yaso. Okay? Sege to yaso, that means three right. were wrong. But what you don't know, if you say, Sege to yaso, then maybe that's good, right? On some tests, if you miss three, you're doing great, right? Yeah. <laughs> but if you say, if you say Sege na to yaso, mm. means you did very poorly, you right. did very badly, because na means some, the number is very big number. When you only attach na onto something when it's a big number, and sometimes it will be ina. When do you think you would put ina instead of sege na? Why would you put ina, Martin? Well, there's a pachim. Okay. At the end. There you go. <laughs> That's right. When there's a pachim, when there's a final consonant, you're going to put the ina uh, right there as well. Right. And so, uh, uh, some instances where you would use na, how about you're trying to buy some clothes? Oh my gosh, it costs 100,000 won. Mm -hmm. How would you say that? That could be it. You could finish the sentence that way. Oh, oh my Oh, 10,000 won! Oh, 내야 돼. 너무 비싸다, right? That's too way too expensive. Right. And another instance is, you know, when it took so much time to get somewhere, for example. Okay. Oh, it took an hour. Can you believe it? How could you say that, Martin? 한 시간이나 걸려요. Oh, good. Good. 한 시간이나 걸렸어요. It took an hour. And what's the difference? What's the difference between she said 걸렸어요 and you said 걸려요? That's a past tense, I guess. Right. Right. 걸렸어요. It took an hour, and then you said. 
It, it takes take an time. hour, right? When, mm -hmm. when you go, it takes over an hour. It takes an hour, okay? And I wish our program was <laughs> But we only have 10. 10 short minutes, which means I also have to teach you more really quickly. We've got tlida, okay? Tlida changes into tlyasayo because, of course, it ends in the e. We we, I'm sure you guys have seen this many times, right? Tulida, tulyasayo, mashida, mashyasayo, right? Okay, that's the verb I always use to explain that, isn't it? Okay, another thing we want to give you, how do you say something is correct? Majasayo. Mm, Mata, right? Mata, majasayo, that was correct. Now, something you want to be careful of, you will hear a lot of Koreans use this word, tulida, incorrectly. Why? Because sometimes Koreans will use tlida to mean darada, different. Mm -hmm. That is an actually incorrect usage. Koreans make that mistake a lot. Oh, 이 컵하고 이 컵은 틀렸어요. That is wrong. 그거 그 자체가 틀렸어요. In Korean, you should say 달라요. They're mm -hmm. different. Okay. Don't make that mistake. And if you hear your Korean friends make it, you can go, hey, by the way, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. And have you heard this sentence? Okay, 시험을 못 봤어요. Have you heard this before? No. Mm. Yes, yeah, yes. I think you have. Okay, 못 봤다 means I couldn't see it. But tell me what the difference between 시험을 못 봤어요 and 시험을 잘못 봤어요. What do you think is the difference between these two? Well, the one thing is for good students and the other thing for bad students. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good guess. Okay, if you say, it means you did not take the test at all. So perhaps you missed it or you didn't get to class in time. But if you say, you did take the test, but you didn't do well. So keep those two differences in mind. And when you want to talk about how many points you got on a test, getting specific here, okay, the word for points is chomsu, okay, and so you can add whatever uh, number that you got on the test. For example, you want to do one? Mm, sure, you could say, uh, what was your score on the test? And then, let's say you got 100%, you could respond in two ways. You could say, right? I got 100 points. When you're just telling your score, you just put jump at the end, right? Mm. Or you could also say, is a perfect score. Mm. Okay, let's go on to wrap it up. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. Lisa, 시험 잘 봤어? 두 개나 틀렸어. 나는 두 개나 맞았는데. And I hope you caught the humor in our Wrap It Up Corner. Okay, Lisa said, oh, I got two wrong. Obviously, I'm a good student. And then, <laughs> and then Stephen here says, I got oh, two wrong. Right. Yeah, right. I got two right. I just, so, so in this case, he's just happy that he got barely two right, right, you know? Okay, so that was the humor in that one. And what else do we want to cover today? Uh, I think they should have a repeat. Okay. Let's, let's repeat here, huh? 시험 잘 봤어? 시험 잘 봤어? 시험, 시험 잘 봤어? <laughs> good, good. <laughs> okay, and then tell me how many you got wrong on your very last test. Ah. Um, 그냥 잘 봤어요. <laughs> okay, you did, all right. <laughs> oh. No one doesn't want to reveal. <laughs> okay, Martin? 만점 받았어. <gasps> wow, okay. <laughs> saying he got a perfect score. We're going to have to call up Solda and find out. Yeah, I, I know your teacher. I can find out about that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go over the expressions one last time. We're asking, how did you see the test? Okay, how well did you do on the test? 시험 잘 봤어? And then the response, blank na, how many you got wrong. So, 두 개나, 세 개나, 다섯 개나, 틀렸어. Okay, keep those expressions in mind and please join us next time here at Let's Be Korean. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.